we are live from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, poolside, and what a crowd we have. Can you believe it's finally here, Alex? Double or nothing, we're getting all the information from all Elite Wrestling tonight. Who says that you can't have a pool party on a February night in Las Vegas? We're doing just that, double or nothing. Hopefully we're gonna learn a lot more about this show, more talent additions, so much on Conrad. This is outstanding, and my goodness, thank you, thank you, thank you for showing up here to help support Double or Nothing and All Elite Wrestling. And a very special thank you to the third member of our team. Let's get a round of applause for Mr. Excalibur. I've been watching that guy for like 15 years at Pro Wrestling Grill. That's pretty cool that he's here tonight, man. Now, he can get away with wearing a mask to a pool party, and nobody says anything. I mean, that's how much respect Excalibur has in this business. Unbelievable. I'm looking forward to him carrying me for a long time to come. Carrying you? <laughs> well, that's a, that's a tough job. But let me say this. I'm excited for who else is here tonight. Who else? Right? What are the surprises? Last time we were here, Chris Jericho showed up. Woo! These guys have their opinion about who they want to see. Who do you want to see tonight? I mean, listen, the, the, the uh, doors have been swung wide open when it comes to talent acquisitions for all elite wrestling. I mean, we have become a company where everybody wants to go work. I, I mean, really, people are sort of knocking on our door. It is a very interesting situation, but who are we going to be answering for, so to speak? Who are we going to be adding to our roster? Again, hopefully we're going to be getting some names tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am Excalibur, and I'm joining you here on the stream, commentating, filling in the gaps, and right now, Sonny Kiss making his way to the ring, the Concrete Rose, all the way from Jersey City, passing out some AEW, uh, some swag, some merchandise, trying to get the fans on his side, not hard to do when you have somebody as charismatic, somebody as, dare I say, lovely as Sonny Kiss. Sonny Kiss uh, tried to uh, tried to make it all the way across the pool, but uh, those t-shirts, not very aerodynamic. Whoops. <laughs> Specifically said not to throw it in the water, and look what I did. So I hear AEW is for everyone. Well, Sunny Kiss is for everyone. So with that being said, I have some exciting news. What? I will be at Double or Nothing. Now, while you may see me out there shaking my ass, you can guarantee on May 25th, I'll be kicking it too. And you can seal that with a kiss. Well, give it up for Sonny Kiss making his debut and making his intentions clear of being at Double or Nothing on May 25th, right here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Conrad Thompson, Alex Marvez, back to you guys up on the stage. Excalibur, the surprise is coming already. Sunny Kiss joining us. And by the way, from what I understand, what I was told over there, this is a Brandy acquisition. Our chief Brandy officer, Miss Brandy Rhodes, specifically singled out Sunny Kiss, one of our latest talent acquisitions at All Elite Wrestling. Well, you're talking talent acquisition. Why not talk about the executive vice president of All Elite? Let's welcome Cody to the stage. Wrestling has more than one loyal fan. One of the men behind All Elite Wrestling, one of the visionaries. 
Cody himself making his way poolside. Cody, we saw in Jacksonville, had quite a few announcements, quite a few surprises. And I mentioned earlier my, my format, my run sheet, had a bunch of blank spots. And Cody playing those surprises close to the vest, keeping them to himself. But you have to understand, somebody with a vision as specific to professional wrestling as Cody, you know that he has ideas, innovative ideas, ideas all of his own, ideas that only he and the Young Bucks, they can go back into the lab and come up with unorthodox. Just, I mean, frankly, unconventional. Thank you guys so, so much. Are you having a good time tonight? Yeah, it's a, it's a little cold, huh? Oh, it's, thank you, thank you. Do you guys see this sweet coat? Do you like it? Yeah, I already blew all the executive money. There it goes. So let me ask you guys, if not us, who? And if not now, when? Guys, it kind of feels like, it smells like, I don't know, it seems like this is a revolution. Last month in uh, Jacksonville, Executive Vice President Matt Jackson, he talked about our very first friendship, our very first partnership, and that being one with OWE. Well, I'm very excited. Some of you might have already learned this. I know Excalibur's just giving scoops away out here. <laughs> that as of today, we have reached our second partnership, another friendship, another crossing of the line, and that being with historical Mexican promotion, dynamite promotion, Triple A. Their mission of providing the best Lucha Libre with an emphasis on modern stars stands up right next to our mission of providing you with the best sports-centric pro wrestling show on the damn planet. Well, let's talk about tickets. You guys want tickets and we want to give you tickets. Literally, right this moment. Well, hold up, hold up. There is a pre-sale sign up, a pre-sale opportunity at AllEliteWrestling.com. We want to make sure we learn from All In. We want to make sure the best fans have the best opportunity at the best seats for the best event in the history of pro wrestling. General public tickets will also go on sale Wednesday, February 13th, 
noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. But I'm telling you right now, everybody who's got their phone out, who's taking pictures or filming this, you can literally go on AllEliteWrestling.com, and I can almost guarantee each and every one of you will get some tickets! Yeah! Well, speaking of AAA, I'd like to bring up uh, our next guest. And that is the current AAA Cruiserweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Sammy Guevara. All the Elite Wrestling making talent acquisitions left and right. And now the AAA Cruiserweight Champion, Sammy Guevara. Burgeoning YouTube star, but professional wrestling superstar, Sammy Guevara is showing utter disdain for the crowd pack here at Poolside in Las Vegas as he saunters to the ring, or to the stage, I should say. Sammy Guevara making his way through the throngs collected here at the MGM Grand. How's everybody doing? AEW. My name is Sammy Guevara. And maybe some of you are familiar with me, and maybe some of you aren't. And if you're not, educate yourself. Go to YouTube, subscribe. Sammy Guevara on YouTube, baby. But better than all that, if you don't know, it's okay. Because soon, Everybody here in AEW is gonna understand that Sammy Guevara is the best ever. I, I am the current cruiserweight AAA world champion, baby. And what that means is I am not only one of the best cruiserweights in the world. What that means is I'm not only one of the best juniors in the world. What that means is I'm one of the best damn wrestlers in the world. So I want Khan, I want the Bucks, and I want Cody to understand that no matter who else you bring out here, no matter what surprises you have, no matter what superstars become a part of AEW, your true superstar is Sammy Guevara. Yeah. May 25th, get your tickets. Come out and watch me do what I do best. <laughs> and steal the show. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to rate, review, and subscribe. It's your boy, Sammy Guevara, making a statement here. Headed for double or nothing. May 25th, but be sure to go to AllEliteWrestling.com, sign up for the pre-sale opportunity, enter your email address, and on Monday morning at 9 a.m., you will be emailed a code, and at noon, tickets will go on sale. That unique code will be your opportunity to get your tickets for double or nothing. Elite Wrestling raising the bar once again with a partnership with Triple A the premier Lucha Libre wrestling organization, Sammy Guevara, their cruiserweight champion, gonna be at Double or Nothing. Monster news coming out here for, from our Double or Nothing rally, MGM Grand Hotel, poolside, not ringside, poolside, here in Las Vegas. You know, Sammy had a beautiful gold championship belt over his shoulder, and somebody else who's gonna be hunting for gold here in All Elite. Let's bring him to the stage right now, Mr. Hangman Adam Page. It might be a little early 
but I'm calling it right now. He is a man that is gunning for the position as the ace of all elite wrestling. He is a man that has his sights set on the title. There's not even a title that exists yet, but he's got his sights set on it. And Hangman, along with SCU, among the first free agent acquisitions for all elite wrestling, and perhaps the biggest pickup they could have made to get things kicked off this January. How the hell are you? I um, I, I, I might have jumped the gun a little bit in Jacksonville and made you guys my boss. Um, so I, I, I guess I, before I say anything else, I need to apologize to all of you. Uh, uh, I was going to show up to tonight's event in what we call um, full gear. Uh, but apparently I, um, I don't have the body for it, so I want to apologize. Uh, I'm, I'm covered head to toe. Yeah, I, you said it, not me. Uh, but uh, I want to make you a promise today, uh, you guys is my boss. Uh, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to get a gym membership. Uh, I'm, I might get two. I'll start eating healthy and a double enough, and I'll be in the best damn shape of my life. I, um, in Jacksonville, I, uh, I talked a lot about all elite wrestling. I talked a bit about uh, wanting to be the first ever all elite wrestling world champion. But I, um, I was interrupted by a slimy haired son of a bitch. But Pac, I know you're not gonna interrupt me tonight because this is my stage. Hangman Page, do you remember me? It's been a few short weeks, but let me remind you. My name is Pac and I am a horrible, devious bastard. Somebody with a huge chip on his shoulder. Somebody who has been segregated and pigeonholed and deemed unsuitable for mainstream audiences for too long. Well, all of that changes now. And I can see you there, standing, your arsehole flapping like a napkin in the wind, wondering, why me? Well, it's nothing personal, Adam. I just have a penchant for humbling the arrogant, and you are the first in a long line of unbearable, cocky, elitist pricks. Now, I'm not naive, Paige. I'm aware that I'm giving up a few inches to you in stature. It ain't just You're stature. a very big boy. But that doesn't matter anymore. What matters is how good you are. And if you don't already know, I am bloody exceptional. And you? Well, you're simply not on my level. And I'm coming for you. So May 25th, bring everything you've got. Bring absolutely everything. And don't forget your little cowboy boots, because I promise by the time I'm finished humiliating you in front of the world, you are going to want nothing more than to ride off into the sunset, never to be seen again. See you in Vegas, cowboy. I, um, it's really nice of uh, Pac to send in that little tape. Uh, too bad he couldn't be here tonight. He's doing what he does best, sitting at home. But I know you're sitting at home, Pac, and I know you're watching, so I'll speak directly to you. I double or nothing. Let's make it official. Let's make it the bastard versus the hangman. And I, I, you know, I, I, and 
And like you asked, I'll bring my cowboy boots, Pac, because back home in your home country of England, they have to give a knighthood to the doctor that can pull them out of your ass. Wrestling.com. Tickets, those emails will go out on Monday morning. Alex and Conrad, back to you. Well, what about it, everybody? Are you excited for Hangman and Pocket Double or Nothing? We've got our first. We've got our first official match. I wasn't sure if we were going to have matches announced. There it is. <laughs> Tickets are on sale now. AllEliteWrestling.com. The pre-sale code. Comes out Monday morning. Yeah, indeed. And again, go alloleaguewrestling.com. Don't be left behind. You remember what happened in September in Chicago. We don't want any of that. So alloleaguewrestling.com. Go to that. Listen, I I'm here to give a little bit of a history lesson right now. Okay. Okay. And this is a non-wrestling history lesson, but it does pertain to the MGM Grand Hotel, which was not always located in this exact location. It, is, it was actually once located where Bally's Hotel is right now. And in 1974, Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five headlined a major show. This was their first show in Las Vegas in April of 1974. Well, here we are 45 years later, and could we have another pair of Jacksons headlining a major show, double or nothing? See, I was going somewhere with this, right? I really was. You know, went full circle. Yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I want to introduce to you part of the triangle, the two executive vice presidents. They are elite. They are the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson. Two pieces of the triumvirate of all elite wrestling. The most dominant tag team of this past generation. The Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson. Two, dare I say, humble Southern California boys that have made their way and made their name around the globe. From the United States, Canada, Mexico, all the way down to South America, England, Europe, and Japan, the Young Bucks, known, loved, adored worldwide, especially right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. are great. Holy crap. Is this my con? Does this one work? Excuse Matt. He didn't go to college. <laughs> this is like our second one. Give me a break, Nick. Hey, hold this. And I was... Oh, thank you. I did too. I was, I was sitting in my hotel room earlier. I was just reminiscing about uh, just the old days. I remember... Nick and I being little kids wrestling around in the living room watching, uh, watching our favorite 90s wrestlers performing our favorite wrestling moves, diving off the top rope, doing elbow drops. I remember super kicking Nick's tooth out one time. That actually happened here. My mom was pissed. He faved that, Matt. 
But I remember one of those times we shook hands and, and we made a pact, we made a promise. We said, you know, one day, let's grow up and let's be professional wrestlers. But not only that, we said, we said let's, let's do it together. Let's do it as a team. Let's, be, let's, let's travel the world and become one of the best tag teams of all time. And you, it, you fast forward all these years later and it's crazy because I, I see fans like you say that we're one of the greats and it blows my mind. You guys say that the Young Bucks are probably in the top five, top ten, and one of the greatest professional wrestling tag teams of all time. It's lonely at top. And it, Nick and I have noticed a trend lately. We've known the last several years. It feels like it feels like tag team wrestling has become like somewhat of a lost art. It's like you can't even see tag team wrestling on on wrestling programs anymore. That's all about to change. Yeah. Our goal, our main objective is to give you fans the best tag team division in the world. I have one question for each and every one of you. Can tag team wrestling be the main event? With that being said, I want to introduce to each and every one of you one of our favorite tag teams to wrestle. Best friends. Well, the talent announcements keep coming at a very high clip. The best friends. Chucky e. T, Chuck Taylor, and Trent Beretta. Bedecked in their finest Scott Hall cosplay, making their way to the poolside area here at the MGM Grand. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Kentucky gentleman Chuck Taylor. This man to my right is Trent Barretta, and he is my best friend. And the best friends have been looking for the best tag team division on earth. And from what these two gentlemen just said, I think we made the right choice. Coming right here to All Elite Wrestling. I'm not even cold, I'm fine. You all right? No problem, no problem. Now everyone's talking here about changing the world, changing tag team wrestling. And that's exactly what we're here to do. Change the world through the power of friendship. Now, if you, would, if you would all please join us, put your hands in. Best friends on three. One, two, three. Best friends! That's it, we're done. Oh, hug. Please 
please give it up to Best Friends. You guys having fun so far? Hey, so stick around, there's more to come. Thank you, Lost. Vegas. see you on May 25th. Challenge laid out by the Young Bucks just days ago. They asked for the best. Well, you got it. The Young Bucks, the Lucha Brothers, face to face! Ray Phoenix puts out Nick! Matt Jackson at the mercy of the merciless Penta! Oh, package pile driver! Hey, 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 Bucks, you guys say we are the second best tag team in the world. Okay, okay, I hope you be ready and AEW be ready for the new Chop Brothers. Because the new Chop Brothers, we are the best tag team in the universe. Because we change the universe. Y para mi gente que habla español, los Lucha Brothers somos los más chingón que existe, señores. ¿Y saben por qué? Porque nosotros somos los Lucha Brothers. The Lucha Brothers making an unexpected appearance here in Las Vegas and drawing the line in the sand. It'll be brothers versus brothers. The fight for dominance, the fight to name themselves the top tag team, not just in the world, but in the universe. Penta El Cerro M, Ray Phoenix, the Lucha Brothers laying out the Young Bucks. And ladies and gentlemen, I understand if you've been trying to log on to AllEliteWrestling.com, the site may have crashed. Well, good news. The pre-sale sign-up will be live for this entire weekend. You have until Sunday night to add your email address to the list for that pre-sale opportunity. So please, show some patience. All Elite Wrestling proving very early on that it is a worldwide phenomenon. We've learned from what happened in Chicago. We don't want to repeat those same mistakes. Everybody that signs up through this weekend at AllEliteWrestling.com will have an opportunity, a, a special pre-sale code, a unique pre-sale code to each sign-up. And now back to Conrad and Alex up on the stage. Brother, I'm shook. 
I'm sure that that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've we've been in the back for hours. I didn't see those guys here. This was not part of the show. You know, Matt Matt's been nursing a back injury for a while, and he's got a pile driver on the stage. Um, <laughs> this this is unprecedented. I mean, this is this is insane. This really is. And you know, things go great with the best friends, and suddenly it all goes awry right here. The Los Lucha brothers making their name known already in all elite wrestling. And we still don't have a match, by the way, for Double or Nothing. This is sort of interesting. And are they going to headline? Hey, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Y'all want to see Young Bucks and the Lucha Bros at Double or Nothing? I mean, that, that seems like a match I would like to see, but, you know, the rumor in innuendo is there's going to be some ladies in action at Double or Nothing as well. Yeah, that's a great point. And, and you know, we have two official signing in our, in our ladies' division. We have Dr. Britt Baker, and we have Penelope, you know, obviously with her main squeeze, Joey Janela. Yeah. Is he working construction this week, magic tricks, playing football? Who knows where Joey Janela may be? You never know with him. But, yes, indeed, our chief brandy officer, Miss Brandy Rhodes, she may have some more insight about what's going to be happening with the women's division. Let's bring her to the stage, Brandy Rhodes! She is the woman with two titles on her AEW business card the chief branding officer, and more importantly, the chief brandy officer. Brandy Rose making her way poolside, heading up the women's division here in All Elite Wrestling. The talent scout, she has kept her eyes peeled, not just across the United States, not just across North America, but worldwide, the chief brandy officer. always really nice <laughs> thank you thank you okay so before we get down to business I have to ask a personal favor I hope that's okay um, if you have a sibling you'll understand today is my big brother's birthday so his name is Jason just if we can do a count of three and tell him happy birthday that would be awesome all right ready one two Three. Happy birthday, Jason! You guys just bought me like two more hours of being a good sister, so thank you. <laughs> All right, can we do Jason? Jason. <laughs> now my niece will think that was cool, so now I'm like a good aunt, cool. All right, so now let's get down to business. Last time I talked to you guys was in Jacksonville. I made a lot of big promises about the women's division. I said we were gonna be talking to the best women's wrestlers in the world, and I meant that. And I said we had been in talks with some fantastic Japanese women's wrestlers, and that was true. So that's where I wanna to start today. We have two Japanese women's wrestlers that I'd like to highlight that will be joining us for Double or Nothing. So. The first one is an up-and-comer. You can find her work at Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling. Her name is Yuka Sakazaki. I guess I don't have to sell her to you too much, but the awesome you know. She's a, she's a budding star. She's been a star in Japan, and she's gonna be a star over here. She's going to be here for double All right. Now, the next lady doesn't need much introduction at all. I think everybody here is going to know her name. It's Aja Kong. Uh -huh. Yeah. Aja is going to be here on May 25th. She's going to put everyone on notice, and I can't wait. So, yeah, I really wanted those ladies to be here today and could not make that happen, and I'm very sorry. But you know, it would be weird if I were to show up in Vegas alone. 
So obviously I brought somebody with me for you guys. Yeah, so this person, I'm really fond of her. I think you're gonna be too, but I have a lot in common with her. She loves pro wrestling, that's a given. She's an academic. She's a member of the Broken Collarbone Club. And uh, she was one of the hottest free agents until I made the call. So please welcome me, or welcome with me, Kylie Ray. <laughs> Smiley Kylie Ray making her way down to the stage. Smiley Kylie Ray often says she's happy to be here, but she has gotten the stamp of approval from Brandy Rhodes herself. So she's not just happy to be here, she deserves to be here. Formerly one of the hottest free agents in women's professional wrestling, now a member of the AEW roster, Kylie Ray already has some adoring AEW supporters here signing autographs. Oh, oh my God! I was about to skip that. Wait, talk into this one, right? Okay. Not this one. Both? No, okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> do it because that would just be rude. Baby face, right? Hey. Um, first of all, hey, how are you guys tonight? A little cold, a little chilly. I'll make it. Wait, you said leg? I got, I don't own a lot of dresses and I wore a dress. I bought it specifically for tonight and now it's too cold and I can't even. week so thank you for that I appreciate it uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for having me out here thank you to AEW they're talking about changing the future um, changing the business of professional wrestling and we really needed it so I just wanted to say thank you as a fan from the bottom of my heart it's truly an honor and a blessing to be a part of this amazing company and from the beginning too it's like building this from the ground up you can't ask for anything better than this and I can't wait to take AEW's women's division by storm. Kylie Ray, everybody, give it up, give it up. Now, wait a minute, now, wait a minute, I got one more thing to say, sorry. You guys got, got with the music a little too quick. Y'all been great till that happened. We're good though, we're cool. Okay, so. Obviously, you know that this is a growing women's division. We're talking to new talent all the time. We're acquiring new ladies all the time. So it shouldn't surprise you that I brought somebody else. <laughs> Nyla, why don't you come on out here?
the women's division here in All Elite Wrestling is filling out quite nicely. However, AEW is all about collaboration. AEW has its sights set globally. But before we get to that, I would like to bring out three men very close to my heart. I started my career in Southern California. And these are three men synonymous with the best place in the entire world. They are none other than Scorpio Sky, Frankie Kazarian, and Christopher Daniels. They are the cornerstones of professional wrestling, SCU! This was Sin City. You can do better than that. I said Los Vegas. You know how we do it. This is the worst town I've ever But we do have an announcement that we are particularly excited for. Anybody that knows SCU knows that we work hard, but we play and we party even harder. So we'd like to announce that the official after party of Double or Nothing is going to be called, wait for it, SCU all night. And coincidentally enough, it's gonna be hosted by Christopher Daniels, Scorpio Sky, and Frankie Kazarian, so cal uncensored. So May 25th, after what is going to be a very historic evening, I'm inviting all of you to come party with SCU. And on that note, Las Vegas, I got three letters that I love to say. And if you say them with me, it'll make my day. So how about on the count of three, say it loud, say it proud. Give me an SCU. One, two, three. SCU. SCU later. Yeah. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, Frankie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not out here just to put over our catchphrase. We're, well, usually we are, but tonight we're not. And we're not, we're not here to talk about our new t-shirt, and we're not here to talk about SCU all night. We're actually here for this next announcement that Excalibur is going to make. Please. Thanks for the spoiler CD. I mentioned it earlier. AEW is all about collaboration. One of those previously announced collaborators is OWE, Oriental Wrestling Entertainment. The man, the protege of Ultimo Dragon himself, Shima. 
He was the man that decided to go to mainland China, to go to Shanghai, and spread the gospel of professional wrestling to a territory that until just a couple years ago didn't even know what professional wrestling was. And now, you all, AEW, have the opportunity to experience OWE for yourselves. Let's go to the tape. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome the Vice President of OWE, Michael Nee, the CEO of OWE, Dragon Fu, and the legendary Shima! Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? We are so thankful to be partnered with AEW. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will bring 5,000 years Kung Fu to the US. This is something has never been done in the history of a professional wrestling. Hello, I am Dragon Fu, CEO of OWE. How are you? Hey. Thank you. So, thank you. Okay, today I'm really exciting. So we are the first group pro wrestling wrestlers in China, and we are going to be here and standing together with our guys and American and Chinese, two powerful country will stand together. Thank you. Thank you, Dragon Fu. Thank you, OWE. But now, here's the real reason why SCU is on this stage right now, because of this gentleman right here. You called him legendary. That doesn't even begin to tell you the scope of this man's career. He and I go all the way back to Mishinoku Pro Wrestling. And ever since we met Shima, you've been a trailblazer. You've been a pioneer, and you've become a leader of men. And now you're here to lead OWE against the best opposition in the world. Well, I have this to say. If you're looking for opposition, allow me to make a proposition. Shima, if you would be so kind, can you get two of your best men? And at double or nothing on May 25th, how would you like to stand across the ring from SCU? Announcements for Double or Nothing, May 25th, MGM Grand Garden Arena coming hot and heavy as SCU will take on the OWE contingent led by Shima. And I have to reiterate, visit AllEliteWrestling.com for your pre-sale opportunity. You will have all weekend to sign up for tickets. Pre-sale opportunity begins on Monday. And now Conrad and Alex back up on stage. Well, we got another match set for Double or Nothing OWE making a quick splash. SCU, yes please. I'll watch that seven days, 24 hours a day. That is gonna be outstanding, Conrad. Uh, tickets are gonna be on sale, man. Don't miss that pre-sale code. We've heard that you guys are so excited. The site has crashed, but don't worry. 
You can get that pre-sale code all the way through Sunday night. Go to alleliterestling.com. And uh, Monday morning, that pre-sale's coming your way. And now that I know Shima's there, I'm getting my tickets, man. Oh, goodness. Listen, what an amazing night, Conrad. I mean, we're talking about so many great debuts so far. So much great. I, I mean, listen, and, and hopefully Matt Jackson is okay after that heinous attack uh, by Los Lucha Brothers. I mean, that was something not expected tonight. A lot of things not expected tonight here at All Elite Wrestling. Yeah, there's been uh, you know lots of surprises tonight. I didn't think Pac was here, and he, he was here via satellite, and it looks like him and Hangman are going to go at it. And you know, there's been lots of fun announcements, but the rumor and innuendo is that there's one more announcement. Yeah, maybe one more announcement still to come. Questions have been answered. Kenny Omega, formerly the top, the number one free agent in professional wrestling, is here at AEW. This is unbelievable. Kenny Omega, AEW. An incredible, incredible seismic shake to the world of professional wrestling. Kenny Omega. You know, first and foremost, I must apologize. I made you guys wait an, an incredibly long time for me to make this announcement. And trust me, it was never my intention. It's just so strange the way the world works with legalities and all that. But rest assured, I didn't put pen to paper until this morning, but I'm... But I am very happy and excited to announce that yes, I am, I have found my phone and oh yes, I am now a full-time member of the AEW roster. In 2016, myself, Nick and Matt, we set out on a path. We set out on a course to change the world of wrestling. We called ourselves the elite. We did everything in our power to give back to the wrestling world and to give back to you incredible fans. That journey is never ending. And, but that journey, the journey itself, had to come to an end in Japan. The world is a big place. So here we are at Las Vegas in the frigid cold. Again, I apologize for that. My Canadian jeans are, are taking to it nicely, however. But now with the platform that we've been given by the Khan family, but most importantly, the platform that we have been given by each and every one of you people that wanted something more, that wanted something different. 
We couldn't just stop at where we had been. We need to push this thing forward, and we need to make this thing bigger and better than ever before. In various interviews, people have asked me, Kenny, what does it mean when you say change the world? I've tried to explain it in words, and I couldn't quite do it eloquently. But I always felt the meaning in my heart. And when I was at All In last year, I saw that you guys understood at that moment too what change the world really means. And I wanted more of that. And I thought to myself, why can't it be this way all of the time? Well, guess what, everyone? Now it can. So rather than trying to explain what change the world means in words, the cast and crew of All Elite Wrestling will finally be able to show you just how we will change the world. We Before I was so rudely interrupted, I was just about to get to the best part. My God! I've been waiting, I don't know, like two months or so to say my favorite line. You guys might have heard it. You might know what it is. I'd explain it to you. I would teach you. But unfortunately, I must bid you adieu. So everyone here, please say it with me. Goodbye, and 
good night, bang! <laughs>